I've already got that set up. Actually, um, <laughs> I I do that as early as possible. Hello. Well, they they can they the, the rooms fill up really fast, but the uh, if you keep it even attention, uh, if you keep on checking afterwards, the rooms open up. But there's also like five or six hotels in the, that are like within sh very short walking distance, so it's not a biggie. Oh. Hello. I just realized I had a big white dispatch here. remember why I had this. I think it was to fill this gap. Yeah, there's some reason for it, but I can't remember what it was anymore. Um... Yeah, I mean, I, I grab one uh, room like that, like, immediately, so I have one, but I'm not sure what plans are for it yet. <laughs> I just got it because I knew I'd need it. Okay, I can't remember why I had that. So I'm going to keep it hidden until I can figure that out. I swear it was for this. Yeah, it had to have been for that, but there's way too much other stuff visible. Like, that being. I shouldn't be able to see those with that skill all the way down. Yeah, I'm not sure on that. It's weird. What other parts are causing that? I think it's. Because I got like a double. Eh, whatever. As long as it fixes the problem, I don't care. Just like that. Don't care enough. She's gonna have like dual armor there or something. But yeah, I, um, th those rooms go so quick that as soon as they become available, usually within that first week is when I grab it. After the last time I got it within like an hour, not this upcoming one, but the last one I got within like an hour of, uh, of it becoming open. So yeah, it was really quick. But this one you should do it, so. I still don't really feel happy with how she looks, but. Uh, did I have the... No, I didn't have the magic set up for because I'm gonna have to technically set up magic for uh, holding the gun up. And I thought I had her pistol showing too. There it is.
Hello. Oops. Thicken. If I just move that. Yeah, I think that would work. I think if I move this leg further back. There you go. Actually, I still have to talk to people about the one for this year. Um, it's just, once the convention's over, it's just um, figuring out how much it was. Usually, then it's whatever works out. And there's multiple ways to do that figured out. Keep it. Turn. have it situated flat but I feel like I can't do that without making it look like it's broken. I like that a bit more though. It's not like how it's bent like that though. I wonder if I can just clip it and not care. Let's keep it like it for now. It's been a day for people forgetting things, trust me. Had a lot of that today. I thought that was a bad split. Okay. Right. So, I figure out what areas I still need to fill in here. I feel like I still need some things, kind of like that one, that break up the... Because uh, right now it feels like I can see the um, the distance. Far. How far does the sky can I go? I can tell. I think I just keep going forever. I don't think I ever wrote down the fog values I had, now that I think about it. I could go a lot bigger, but I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Yeah, I'm still working on this. This is a fairly kind of... I mean... <laughs> I, uh, what's it, what's that? Yeah, look at how many models there are. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot. So, 
But I want to try to make this look um, as good as I can. And actually, I'm doing all the distance stuff, but I still have to do um, a lot of the close by stuff too. Because right now there really is, it should be like, actually I should probably do that right now. So I need more, I think only, there's only the two for, yeah, so those are the only two I have for those. I can use anybody. Um, should I use for somebody laying on the ground? Well, I gotta put me. I was wondering where that one that one was. Uh, which software? Oh, it is it is available for those that want it. I can put it up right now. Um, it's I just haven't actually made anything post about it or anything. I already have one in that, so I can't do that again. But I know there, I have a bunch of other ones I've downloaded. Eh. Not the best, but it would work. <laughs> I like how you go from like. This one, which is the the fairly accurate, <laughs> or uh, to those, just like it feels like it's everything just explodes. Oh, I think I'm just gonna use that for now and see what that does. Uh, work for a base. To build this like a week or so, the hardest part about building this was this part, uh, the roads, Be, uh, because every one of these is like I had. Well, I had to. Anytime there's like breaks in the road here, that technically had nothing underneath it. It was to the ground, so I had to add some gravel so that that looked like it had something there. Um, The, the bottles you hear are all just separate pieces. So it was uh, um, taking all those, putting them together, then taking all these uh, sidewalk bits, putting those all together. So you can see, I mean, they're, they're all separate little models that are all in there. That, that took a while to get the base set up and then I had to start throwing trash everywhere. And I'm not even done with that either. I still have a lot more that I want to add. Because I want to be able to use this for other purposes too. Um, ch -ch 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 me. I 
find some work. So we've got our pieces here that are a little bit more um, destroyed looking. <laughs> what are those? Yeah, a bit bright. I wonder if I can fix that though. Actually, that could work. I need to make some kind of bow. Okay, wait, that was backwards. There. <laughs> I was like, what happened to them? Give me a little bit of the distance, so I'm not looking for detail, I'm just looking for variety. I don't know. It, I think you can get a, uh, particles to cast shadows. It's just kind of complicated and doesn't always work probably the way you want it to. Um, there you go. Um, you, there, let me see. There's an actual tutorial on how to do it. Yeah, if you just look up uh, Zachary Scott, he has a particle tutorial there, and he has a whole bunch. Of, but that one, they shows you how to do it, but it's just it doesn't work the greatest. Plus, I don't even know if his download is still there. Yeah, his download is down anyway. Um, there's a a small little file you could add to a particle that would make it cause uh, the shadows to start working. But he does explain how it does or how it works, so. You, Probably could put it back together again, but that's the only way I've seen how to do it. Is he explains it, but that's kind of a uh, um, a method that doesn't work that great. So only method that's available. Though. I wanted it a little off.
Boom. Oh. There we go. I don't know, did they? Uh, I can't play it here. Um, yeah, I won. SFM2 is pretty cool, but I it had, doesn't allow you to do anything with um, um, material overrides, and I love those. And so, if I can't do the overrides, I'm not going to bother. Out to those sidewalks. I want to actually grab one of those. So I think this one over here. Dead. If it's anything like Valve, the probably forever.
like that, maybe. Maybe like that. Did I? Yes, I did. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure it'll be in beta for, well, basically ever. I'm not complaining about it. I th especially since they're coming out of the whole number two, I'm thinking that that's going to be uh, at least until uh, they're done with that version. No, get that jiggle. That's good. Good. I thought there was one again for the the end part. I guess not. That's fine. It's just adding little background things. Actually, you know, what does that camera look like? Yeah, it is. Okay. I want to see if I can find shells. Is that empty? Yeah, it's just the casing. There, that's what I wanted. I thought we had some. There's like some super detailed one though. It's better. Let's check the workshop quick. Uh, more FOE done with Helsing for a while. <laughs> that picture now makes you a little curious, but no. Ooh, there you have four. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. I want that. <laughs> Just hoping they'd start making some of those. Okay, yeah, they have those. Those ones, but that's the full one. Yeah, they don't have ones for shotgun, do they? Nope. Okay, let's use the one that's already there. Oh, or I can crash it.
No, if I ever do more of that, it would be like next year. <laughs> so I like doing different things. I don't want to get stuck uh, doing the same thing over and over and over again. Okay, am I even here? Okay, I'm good. I probably should fix that here. Oof, this is, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't transfer. I think that's the only one though. Oh, and then this didn't. Just like a little glowy. All right, what was the other one? I think the other one looked better. I don't need them super detailed. What did I do? these eject that
Okay. I wonder if I should make it smoky. Bottle. No. I got I got them because I can. I haven't put them in yet though. I have to get my uh um I have to get everything moved to the new case which I just got this afternoon. And then I have to wait for my SLI cable to come in. So I can run one for a little while. I probably want to have that smoking a little bit. <laughs> Why? Too? Why? Because I can? I don't know. <laughs> um, I haven't checked these lately. So let me. Ariel. I don't know if theirs is any better. No, it doesn't look that great. Ooh, loud. Oh, maybe. That's all. Ah, that's not what I'm looking for, though. Too bad. That's it for them? Wow, kind of disappointing. <laughs> well, I don't know if it could be too much considering like here um I mean, I'm not even ha halfway done with this and I'm already running at 4 and that's off my old one. So having extra I'm not going to complain about because um I have problems with I can't view th preview things as I really want to see them until render because I can't run at a frame rate that makes it even workable. It gets a little annoying. So, um, it would come in handy. Um, I think I was going to do that. Hmm. I don't think that's gonna have one. Second, I don't think they have the shotgun one for this. Not like it needs one specific like that, but probably should open it up in the main one though. Ah. On. Um. Bigger screen. So which is the final? Yeah, it looks like it. No, this just says flash. 
thought there'd be one that stand out a little bit. Or is that the one? No, because that's, that's missing this bit. I'll figure this out. Oops. Okay, it's gotta be. It's gotta be that one. Oh, I think I know what it is. I think it's just dependent on viewing angle. One's from the world, one's not. So I'll do this one. So we'll go up and try and those fire. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start that at 10, 5, Forgot that it does that. It does this some like uh, because it's using trails and trails go backwards at the beginning. Tighten the spread a bit. I think this would work, it's just that I don't like how it goes back like that, but there's really no way to fix that. Wars was here, I don't know if someone already went. I want to make sure this works. Yeah, it does work. Okay. Because I need to have, technically have it frozen like that. So actually, that almost kind of works like it is. Why is it not frozen anymore?
Uh, I gotta freeze it again. That could almost just work like that. Why is it going to Oh, I know why. It has to play through it. Just for today, it's changed. So it should probably actually do that a second earlier. Get to. Turn the lights. Let me try this. Okay, if I change this. Unfreezes it. Okay, so then it works. Because if that's if I have problems getting that to freeze correctly on render, it might have some issues. Something I'm not liking about that so far is when you're at the angle like that, it kind of has the clipping texture you can see. I'm trying to move it so it doesn't do that so much. Alright, I'll say that that for now will work. But I kind of wish I could move. That spread here. Er. And that would be the bits. Yeah. <clears throat> that I'm guessing has a delay on it. No, it doesn't. Hmm. Oh, 
what if I delay everything else? I think the freeze thing. Another part I wanted disappeared. Okay, maybe that won't work. Unless... No, I'm not gonna bother. Uh, what do you mean orange tints? Because I, it, it's just an orange light. Or an orange-ish. Everywhere. Oh, this is a glow. I'm like, what is that? Same with the windows back there. I don't need lights on them. There or there. I'm sure for islands for now. Yeah, that helped a bit. Well, it has to be. If I, if I want to use any type of sunlight, technically I have to have it at sunset or sunrise. Because I'm pretty sure that's the only time there's going to be breaks, or at least a good break, in the cloud cover. Uh, light. Yes, that is best time of day. Damn it. Make it brighter. All right, see you later. Yeah, that feels better. That's shadow, though, isn't it? Ah, it doesn't look as good without the shadows. Arr. I'll keep it on for now, but I need to know that. Oops. Uh, 
this would be um, right. but I might need to remove the shadows from it just because I only have the eight that I can use <sighs> do I make them make that brighter though Oh, that's oh that did work. Okay, that work except for I want to add one other particle to this. I can't remember what it's called though. Uh, I'm gonna have to look it up. There's a distortion effect I want to use, but I don't remember what it's called. I'll use it in here though, so... Okay, Abaddon. Okay. He has one for there. Okay, so uh, so says Winkle, huh? You see. A little bit big. Let's go from two to four. Straight down by a lot. That's spinning. I wasn't doing it. No, I think it's this. Yep, okay. And it's moving based on gravity.
Russian, I don't know. Good sphere. And then give it zero gravity. We'll give it a speed. So we'll say ten. That'll work. I don't want it to scale up quite a bit more. Uh, do, 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 do. Random. That's way too big. You want to have it kind of spread from that point. And then. And then. Do a negative 50. I don't know. 50. Negative 50. Ah, too, way too much spread. 10, negative 10. That would work and ten negative ten. See that for now, and then see what I can do with it from there. Is that in the right direction? Yeah, it is. Actually, kind of creepy how much in the right direction it is. Um, make these super visible so that I can figure out where they are. Oh, not going the right direction. Ooh, I have an idea. Copy, paste. It's got a basis. Okay. Bring down the time on that more. work and already have it and fade in fade out oh, I should only do 20 100 Well, I've actually, I've always want they haven't put it down. I've just been doing other stuff. So I was working. I always have, I've had something on the side going for quite a while. Okay, actually, I kind of like it right here.
Ah, but I can't. I have to do it at some point here. Okay, I'll save this instead. Okay. By doing that, it gives it a little bit more of a realistic look. Get it to work again. Come on. Well, it's eight, sorry, uh, that's why. Come on, where's the other one? That's gotta work. This guy's go off. So tank ten. Wow. <laughs> it's like you know, pew. <laughs> it's just, okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. Not even gonna bother with that. But even then, I don't think I have to put too much effort into it. I think I might kind of do like I did the uh, last video with that stuff. It's going to make a much better looking. Well, I wish I could put something on here that would... For that. Um, can I shine a light at this thing? Oh, there's one, so there's one with the lights on and one with the lights off. Okay, I want the one with the lights off. Also, hers is black, isn't it? I guess it depends on what point in the story.
for now, I just want to put something on there. I wonder if it would be better almost having it like that. I kind of like it almost like that. It's kind of got a globe, but there's nothing on it. Might even just keep it like that. I can't remember because uh, I don't know Velvets was black for sure. Because they're a weapon. Ugh. Buttons are missing. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I like that effect. Eyes oh, really glowing there. Well, I haven't actually finished her lighting, have I? I only did this one. It's fine here. I also think she. Wait, doesn't she get two or three different kinds at some point? I thought at one point the one with the uh, EC111 had. Uh, or no, I forgot what that number was, but the. Uh, I thought that one was, was black. Actually, this isn't done right. Hmm. 
Oh. I said to go back and finish it. I'm really close, just not quite all the way there. That might be too much. Yeah, if anything, having it Oops. here. Pressing the rim and then That'll work. Um, I think it's around there? I'm not sure. That's super long, so I can understand. <laughs> it's not something I can really stick with. Okay, actually, I did have her change to look down, though. Tilt it though. Looks too straight otherwise. Okay. I <laughs> just still have me laying over there. I gotta do more like that though. Actually, really, I only could I could just take a bunch and like uh, this would really eat up memory though. You just take a bunch of random ones, just have them running up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm running up. <laughs> He's floating. 
could do it. I mean, from a distance, it's not going to be really noticeable. Actually, this could be kind of cool. This over here. Uh, how visible is that? Enough. And then I needed a victim. <laughs> no. Yeah, the early ch the early on portions of it it goes slow or they're shorter, but as it goes on, it gets longer and longer. So they're like FOE Cadillac kind of size. Might have lost. Nope, I didn't. Good. Yeah, was it 50,000 or something like that? Yeah, it was huge. Uh, no. I can just recolor one of these. Broken. Let's <laughs> use Rick. I love a scotch tap. Somebody spelt it wrong. Um, so I don't want to have anybody that could be um, immediately um, distinguishable. Really, any of these would work. Like this one would work. There we go. He is done. <laughs> it's perfect. I am happy. This will probably work. It just might be messy. Yes, it is a ghoul.
Oops. I look better. Almost broken. I can't really pull the list back anymore on that one. default. Whoa. Except all this part's of it. Kicking the ceiling.
Oh, that's gonna kill me. I don't even have no, not motion, but I have to add a few more lights over there too, but and I know this is what happened to the oh I probably did this. Yeah, the aperture's at default. I think I just created a new camera and threw that in place. Because the main should have... Yeah, right over there. I think I was planning around this. Okay, they're visible. Good. That's what I wanted. I think about these ones being a little further away as I can be a little more specific on their lighting. Like this. Because I only have to worry about those two shots. What happened to my skybox? I was messing with the size, but I thought I undid it. Oh, 
or did I undo? No, I didn't. That's still fine. So I can't see the skybox anymore. What happened to those? Uh, the background. Oh, that's what I did. I turned the sky on lights. There we go. Fix some of it anyway. Yeah, when it's finished. Yeah, and I don't know when that's going to be though. Because right now it's just, uh, like, for like right here for this shot um I don't like how there's very little oomph coming from that direction I could make a specific one that only shows when I get to that angle because like right now there's no sharp lines on them or anything which normally you'd expect from something like this. Which, well, I guess I kind of did that for on this side already. I just haven't actually optimized her here. I think what I need to do is kind of do like I did with Blackjack here. Add a smoother. Oops. Okay, so for one, where does her light go? It's not that far, so. About the same distance, okay. I guess I could say it smooths it out a bit. I think I may move more over here though. This actually has, it helps on the edge instead of across the whole back. Mm, maybe. No, it does need to go a little more. This way. Okay, that did help balance it out, but I don't think it helped on this edge here. Well, actually it actually did a little bit. Now there's actually light coming across the, the back side, but I still think there should be more. Actually, oh, I think I know what I can do.
I'm not sure how well these things will work here though. Especially since as soon as it starts hitting the lights around here, usually they go pretty bonkers. Well, that could be fixed. But if you position it right, like right here. I angle this just a bit more, a little higher. You can position it so that it makes it look like it's creating an artificial shadow being cast down above them. Okay, I think that. First, it's a little overly bright. I think with all the eye lights, that's why it's feeling off. Oh, I know why. Yeah, it feels off because the light ray is there. Hmm. The nice thing about these is that most particles, like if I were to use it, they would a uh, plane like that would rotate and depending on your view. These don't. Yeah, I was trying something. I uh, wanted to see if I could make a uh, turntable kind of thing out of, uh, or using just renders and some careful planning. Making these small doesn't really help, but making them big has this uh, has a problem too. What I was noticing is if one of those planes goes in front of them, it makes them fog out a little bit, and I don't want that. I'm seeing if I can try to pull these back and just give them the end of it instead. This way we still get some of the rays coming down here. But there, she's still a lot more visible now. Cutting in right there, though. Well, I don't think they'd be visible with the particles anyway. No, I'm not doing a sequel to that that one. 
I don't like sequels. That is going to be this one. Okay. Ooh, that's kind of cool. But I want to hide the fact that that's even there. I might need to add some extra lights there just that are temporary. The thing about these is it creates the light effect without actually put using lights, which is super useful because it saves on uh, um, how many lights you have by a lot large amount. <laughs> no, I mean I like I like following ideas stuff. It's just that to be um if the first one was good, just trying to make a great uh, a sequel is you're trying to take parts of it that were already good and then just add on to it. But if you already were able to make something that was great just right from the right from scratch, why go and just copy paste parts of something else? I'd rather start from scratch again and uh I, I don't know. That's just I prefer to make start from new. It's not, I otherwise like, think it's kind of boring. Um. Oh, I know what I can do here.
that did not go as I expected. There we go, that works. <laughs> Even with the dark streets here, it looks kind of looks pretty good. No, everything's running fine on my side. Oh, I want to make this much, much bigger. I think this might be overdoing it, but. Oh, wait, is that in the wall? Probably behind. Yeah, it is. Still in the visible range, okay. How big is it though? Ah, there it is. Alright, so I need to make that kind of a yellowy. Eh, what's that? Go with that. Nah, it's too... Too yellow. It was looking okay because I was mixing the numbers. Alright, good, I can copy this one again. That's better. It's not, I mean, really what you just see is what it is. It's just, uh, 
trying to make making a picture in three dimensions. It's a little bit time consuming, <laughs> but uh, this turned out pretty good. I think pretty good. I don't think it's... Well, it <laughs> might not the best person to ask. I don't think it's that bad, but also I've been working on it for a while. Oh, yeah. So this is going to be uh, not as bright on that side as I want. I think I might need to separate these by person. I want something that, when at this angle, actually looks like there's still light coming around. Does help. I just now see if I can make it work. Ok. 
because it's the light I need to make sure that if the light comes on that it gets goes off at the right time too because this is going to be from where's the full loop starts at 10 but where does it end here see so from here to here there to There, it should be exactly the same. Come on. It's not centering it. There we go. It is. Okay. Good. Then that makes one fill loop. Sh and it should be a lot easier to do this lighting thing then. So I need to make it so that this light is at zero most of the time, but from here. Through, I'll see at this point it hits max. At this point it's at max. Otherwise it fades. Okay, good. Um oh uh it, when it's when a particle effect is locked to a model, like it's or it's attached to a model that has a lock on that bone or something that's attached to, um yeah, it won't work. It will it will disappear or it will reattach itself to the base because when something is locked, it's it's looking at the numerical values, not the model itself. When something is locked, it bases its all its numbers on something else. It's not basing them. It's like um, let me show you an example. So say like this this the uh, actually I'll do it on something I'll load up here what was that say helper thick just copy paste that or delete it okay see this one right now the root. if you look at the uh, like the roots information for like rotation it has all these you know it's, these are it's basing it's this X Y and Z based in the world uh, so this is its rotation based on its rotation compared to the world um, if you go and lock something to this like this all these values are going to be the same because it's now comparing it. It's still using the world's values. But if, like, say, I hit it with a zero, but now I go and rotate this up here, 
this helper this this one is still now in its original position you know you know rotated up here but if you look at its values now if they're way way different um actually you could probably I even zeroed this. I thought I had it zeroed. Yeah. Well, it's on. I not a zeroed it. Or not a number. I don't know why it does that every now and then. There. Alright. So by zeroing it, it's now in its original position, but now it's zeroed because it's locked to the other model's position. It's now a local lock. So it's 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 new zero 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 is at that rotating spot. Well, when you have a particle attached to something, it's looking at the same thing. So it's saying, um, when the when you have it attached to something that's not locked, it's looking at that depth um, models X, Y, Z in the world and saying this is where it's this is where it should be positioned and it shows it correctly. If you if that bone is locked, especially if it's zeroed. It's looking at that model's X, Y, and Z and seeing zeros, and it's thinking that that's for the world zeros, not the local zeros. So it, instead of having it in that spot, it's throwing it back to the zero, zero, zero position, which is the uh, the base position of the, uh, the particle. So that's why they disappear. So the best way to do that for an animation is, um, like I usually have that that piece of like wood that they jam in their head. If, have it locked to that but just don't worry like hide the particle once you are fully done and you're ready to render then you can either uh, then you can unhide it or and then just completely unlock it as long at that point there's no motion that's going to change so you can unlock it it will hold all the motion that was already there and now it'll actually use its XYZ for the world so really all it is is um, once you once everything is done to where it's, um, you've already have everything animated. That's the best time to do it. Once there's no extra motion going in, because you can unlock it from its the the source after it it's already got all the motion. It'll just interpret interpolate that motion for what it would be in the world, and then it would use the correct values that the particle would look for. This is going to be on DA once I'm done with that. Because it's not, nothing I can... Well, I mean, I could make a, a video of it, but... I don't see it being that entertaining of one. I don't want to move too much because I want it to hit her edge. I don't want it to create extra light um, in places it wouldn't have normally have been. I do think this needs to be a bit brighter. Otherwise it's going to look really weird because as it's coming around the light looks like it's going to shift and move. Yeah, you can't even notice the light really come in there. OK. 
Okay. Okay, this one's going to move a little differently. This one, you can actually see it fade in, but it is kind of hidden. I'm actually probably too far to the side anyway. But yeah, I don't know if uh, um, I don't think I, I don't know if I'll put it on YouTube though. It'll probably be on DA though, because it's it's meant to be a flash that's interactive. <laughs> it's actually nice. The the light works best right here, but as soon as it passes underneath here, it uh, it changes the light over to the other one. So now what you can see here, I was basing on the light here. So here you can see it's lighting up the edge, but here it's lighting up more behind it. <laughs> so they're using each other to hide each other. That's awesome. But no, the, the concept that this is supposed to go off of, that weren't here last time, is... 
this. Where I can take a flash like image that's done in um, done in SFM, but then render it multiple times so that I can control it and be able to manually spin it. So kind of like the turntables that you see on or that a lot of 3D software does for previews. So you can do it like that on here, but then it actually has the built-in or the the depth of field actually there. You can see that. Um, it blurs and everything so but then you can you can control it that's the that's what I want to do with this and that's why it does like the I'm just trying to put a lot more detail into it than that so See, the one thing I is I think that this character here is stands out a bit much because the way that the light's hitting them is not near as strong as them. So I'm gonna drop that down. I think it's this one. I'm gonna drop the intensity though. That'll work. Maybe I should drop the intensity or the ambient. <laughs> I think the reason she stands out so much is that there's so much other uh, fog in the background. I think if I add more random stuff there, it'll help build up the complexity so she doesn't stand out so much. I wish I had some like the blood bags and stuff. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, what do I want to add back here? I need ideas. Maybe, oh, you know what? I kind of added the cars and the buses over there. Maybe I should do that here. Oh, yeah, actually, with the light rays, how does that help with her? Okay, what is that right there? Oh, these are the new lights. These Ubers. Yes, awesome. That one's not hitting any of them. This one is. That's Pipper and Fade right, so I 
can't put this one. I can't hide all of it. I can hide most of it. That's fine, though. Oh, I'm gonna have to do anyway. This one I should be able to get rid of completely. And that was no worries. Okay. <laughs> like crap when you look at it like that. Oh, they kind of. The light on that wasn't on before. Why did sun blow up? It's kind of cool in its own way. No, I don't want to do anything like that because that seems. I do want to do some smaller versions, yes, but. Why you make big annoying light? Oh, I'm guessing I know what it is. Running out of RAM anyway, so I'm just gonna save, exit, and reopen right now. Do it on my terms. Yes, she was having a bad day. Well, she is in a computer, so that, yeah, she would be very not good day. Well, that didn't fix it, though. can easily fix it. I, I just want to make sure it's not going to be something that's going to be undone because I uh, later on for some reason. I kind of had it out just the way I wanted it. I don't want to have to fight to get those values back. There, that should do it. One thing I'm noticing is those buildings aren't really lit. That one looks okay. but not the back ones. So that is 0 0.35 for all those. Okay. Fixes those two. Now, what about this one? 
That one's doing fine so far. Okay. So I'll leave that one B. So I do need to try to. Oops, actually, I need the lighting on here. Yeah, I need some more lighting across there. Where's my lights? And they have the back buildings, and they're just like I'm missing those ones apparently. This is left, but it's actually hitting. Oh. He's looking at both. Missing a building in here, though. No, I'm hitting it. It's just bent in, so I can do that one manually, though. should work. Now he's got to get one for that one house. I could almost keep it like that. Cause the cutoff edge is gonna be a bit strong, yeah. I don't know, it's actually good. Cause I do want it to have a little to fade a little bit down there. Comrade Todd says stop dying. What? <laughs> Todd says stop dying. No. <laughs> he refuses.
still feel like there needs to be more more kind of light coming through there. An idea, but it's, I don't really want to. Uh. Hello, Adam. There it is. Okay. That's not what I want to do. Why am I not seeing this? I 
think there's a value I'm missing here that's affecting this. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Just in case. And that better streams the lighting. I need to uh, bring the intensity to zero and do this manually. So it's going to be from where the sun enters. So from I'm going to say the sun is fully in it at this point. To this point. And exits at this point and this point. I'm gonna go a little bit further and fall off a little differently. Turn the sun and make sure it's not going to blow things up out of proportion. No, if anything, it's not enough almost. Okay, so at this point, it would be fairly clear. At this point, is it would fade in a little more tense then I try keeping it. <coughs> uh, no, I probably wouldn't play it because <laughs> I got plenty of other things to play. To take this in steps so that I can see how it looks. I was wondering if, because I upped that light, if I down the sun's um, rays a little bit.
No, because that's going to affect the entire map. I'm going to drop it anyway. It's gonna affect the. No, actually, I think the sun's. It's a little different on where it hits. Yeah, actually, the background gets a different set of volumetrics if I remember right. Yeah, they're separate. So I actually can do that. Do I like this side? I don't know if I like this side quite yet. Oh yeah, I know why. This side, I went and lit all the tops of the buildings. Here, I haven't yet. I think it was building lights... I got an easier way to do this. No, actually, that was the volumetric light that did that. Okay. So I just need to try to match the light on this side so that it gives that same effect. So, like, both are affecting this. Nope. Okay. I think it's just hitting this background area too hard. How did it get that nice effect on this side, though? <coughs> See, I just really like how everything came down on here. I think it's just how everything was spaced. And then not as spaced over than this side. Plus, there's, well, there's not as much stuff on the street either. That's what I need to do. Just need to throw junk all over the place. <laughs> Not a boat. Well, you know what? That's good. I'm gonna throw a boat. It's gonna be back here. You can't see it. Whatever it is, a boat. I want to get it close enough to where at least you maybe make it out. Is 
there. There's a boat. like good rubble. Too many street lights are standing too. It's the same thing. It's this one. No. No. Oh, that's uh, probably what I'm looking for there, but not like I want it, so. Doing fine, how are you? Uh, no, I need a full tile. Oh, that work.
breaking up the same same line that just keeps going by adding in. That was a better one than those. No. Oh, I think it was store. No, that was just the clean buildings. Oh no, it was school. That's what it was. Uh, I'm actually not exactly what I was looking for, but close. There's a specific partially destroyed building I'm looking for. Uh -huh, that could maybe work. What was it called? Nova. Nova. Novak House, okay. I don't know, I had the bomb. Ooh. Ah, that'll work. Eh. That'll work. I can't have this completely empty. I have to have some kind of sign that there's something that fell over here. This way would work better. I want to grab. There. Yes, there was a mammoth. <laughs> From a museum or something. It's blocking way more than I thought it would. It really wasn't doing much anyway. Let's keep it where it was. There. Okay, now that I actually kind of filled out everything, I think that this needs a little bit of something to fill that whole gap. But I don't know if I have much. Oh, there was something. It was the last one I did. No, this one.
Yeah, I don't think I can really put anything there. That's fine. What was the other thing I wanted to do? It comes around to... That's where it ends. This side of things. <laughs> cloud and <laughs> that will be my clouds. Originally, I, I wanted to do something with them, but eh. Not have anything from there. No. What's the name of that one that I used from last one? We'll find that out. There's actually like three at this point. Oh, perfect. The user mod only caught a one. That uh, longsword is working on something with those. There, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I keep that. Right, it won't keep the zero. No.
I want to throw these in because they make it look um, a lot more uh, realistic. You can add depth to them too, which is kind of nice. I'm not too worried about with these, but. I have a feeling that. Oh, it is better than I thought. I have a feeling that these were going to be dark. But it does look like they will light up. Yes, this is a, a very large scene build, but that is perfectly okay. Mainly because, like I said, I can um, repurpose this. So it's never going to go to waste or anything, even the spark parts it. Um, I put a lot of effort into and are not going to be seen. For the reason I really want to put extra effort into it, so then I can reuse it later. So I really like how that turned out. Oh, they kind of make it all look the same. I don't know until it really it's uh, a lot of this is I could call it done right now um, but I want to keep it going until I feel like I've gotten as much in there as I can without overdoing it because there is a certain limit where it's like okay you're not really gonna get any more on this or nothing more is gonna really benefit it so just call it but This one's gonna be difficult because I can't. I don't want to, to clip the building. The one back there is getting us away. Oh, it's the other one that's clipping. Ah. I like how it looks, but... We only see the clipping because that one goes over it. So I'll just not go over it.
is all because of Savior Warhorse. This one is not having them show up as brightly. I don't know if the light's getting in the way or what. I'm having to make them pretty small for them to even show. But even then, I don't mind them being small and just giving a little bit of ruffles there. Sky Dome. Which one is this side? It's this one. I can't decrease it though. I want to do something so that I can. Um, really make some good. Uh, good detailed clouds on this side. Could always just overrides. Um, how much has changed? I mean, really, it's a lot of this has just been refinement. So I guess not much. I think it might be too bright. There's the dark and the light splotches over there that made that one great. I think I know how to do it on this side.
bear that breaks it up a little bit. Well, it was the same way. I, I started reading that before I even played it. Okay, I do not want to see the render time on this. Alright, so how does this all look together? What's for decals? Oh, I don't need those. <laughs> Does that change how that lighting is over here? A little bit. No, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I might have to move that shotgun shot just because the uh um with with it as it is right now um you can only see your face for a small bit of it before it's just blocked by that that shot Because you see here, but then if anything, I might drop the fade time on that distortion. I think what I need to do is make this much quicker. make it stronger Distortions might be still too big. Oops. I'm pass over when it initially goes slowly. It's for it to yank the first one in. There we go. Yeah, if I lower that, it might work better. Because then it'll have a better view of there. Because as of right now, it's not working very well. Because it's just hidden. Let 
also here. Oh, there's something else I'm looking at. Okay, I was like, what the hell is this shotgun looking weird for? I just have to test the render this or something just to make sure I have the uh, the particle effect working. Yeah, there. Now it doesn't hide, uh, um, it doesn't hide her face as much. That's what I was worried about. I didn't like as much, but there. Uh, works a lot better now. I'm not giving her sunglasses. Okay, from this side, this area is lit up way too much, and it's, I don't mind this part, but this part is. Um, what is causing that? Ugh, I can't fix that. Um, Because the sun's actual light, I can't reduce that because that would reduce everything, and I'm kind of limited on what I can do for that. Um, but, 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 but I could, that's not gonna work, but it's always worth a shot. It almost never works for this purpose. Actually, it is to a degree.
normally I, I don't trust negative lights because they just can they can destroy more often than they can they can help but I think for this it actually if done right can fix it and I just need to make sure it's not going to break something else so this leg is still very bright but I can almost use another one to get rid of that so this did dumb it down just a little bit if anything I could probably dumb it down just a bit more careful though I think I have oh is there a radius up no there's not yeah I'd hmm well that's what's causing that It's a little darker right there, but I think it's because the angle I'm at. Or is that the... Oh, I think I know what's causing that, but that's fine. Let's put a little lower. That should get rid of it a bit. Okay, that balanced it out a bit more. Well, it looks like that when uh, negatives are really weird, uh, especially since like it, since it was popping up with a lot of yellow. The only way to decrease yellow on a negative light is to increase the yellow. That's why to get rid of the yellow, I had to make it a yellow light um, because it's negative, so it's opposite of whatever you'd expect. So because I need to get rid of yellow, I needed to make yellow. But uh, because I'm yellow, negative red, that's that's how I got rid of it. So. That's a bit much on that leg, though. Ooh. So this yellow light is looking red now. So it's looking too red, so I need to increase the red. So it's looking purple, so I increase the purple. That dumbed down her legs a little bit. <laughs> okay, so without those, her, light, her legs are like this. They're like glowing, and that you, there's, you can't even see the detail with that. And she stands out way more than Pip, so I need to. I use the negatives very, very carefully <laughs> um, 
to help negate that a little bit. But like even on this one, there's a little bit more red than I want. So I'll just increase the... Wait, I was playing with the... I made those wrong. Yeah, I did. Or at least I edited the wrong one. That's fine. So her right one, I need to increase the red. So let's grab that, that up just a teeny bit. And that should, yeah, that's much better. It makes it look a little yellow. The yellow, I'd rather have yellow than red. Alright, so I need to make sure it looks good from all angles. So that looks fine. That looks fine. That looks fine. Looks fine. It's fine. Can't see it. Looks fine. Okay, good. But this is always it's this is always going to look a little bit of a different color, like uh, when you start doing these, like right here, you can see this is a really dark line here. But as soon as it processes, actually, I thought that line would go away. Oh, that's where her knee bends, isn't it? Which one is causing that? I thought that would go away. This one. Oh, I bet you that that is the cutoff point. Had to brighten up the leg a little bit with doing that, but that's fine. It gets rid of that line. It, it didn't make a line, did it? No. Having a part of the leg. Well, I wonder if I. Should I shrink that? Or do I create a line by increasing its intensity a bit? Oh, that's not the problem. It it just pulled away from the feet based on the distance. All right, that helped offset it a bit. So, what I need to do is, like on this side, I got the background basically finished, but I need to put a lot of stuff in the, the middle here to spice it up. But I need to keep them dark enough and not um, popping out enough. Because right now it just doesn't seem like they're doing anything. They're just standing there. But I need something going on around them to like, at least give them purpose. That's what that side is for. Truly, really, I don't have to add much to more to that side, really. I just have to add more to this side. Originally, it was supposed to have that the there was somebody in the building, but decided against that. Now this street is too not or too empty. And I no, I don't I haven't really filled up this street either. 
Just need more destroyed things. Yeah, I do. I, well, fire is a little bit more difficult because um, a lot of fire is done with a uh, sprites, so 2D object or 2D sprite. And if you put fire too close to the camera, like around, like say right here, as this camera spins, you're actually going to see it clipping through the ground and spinning with the camera. <laughs> so fire at a distance, like say somewhere probably around like here, might work because the I'm limited to only this short distance that the camera goes around it. So you probably it wouldn't you wouldn't notice it as easily. Uh, so I have to be careful how I use fire because it will be frozen. <laughs> moving fire that that's constantly moving, the clipping usually is not as noticeable. But I want to. I need to give uh, places for fire to be first. That's what all these bottles are for. I don't think we'll need a train car there. Um. I really liked having the bus. I like this one. Kind of split in half or something. Yes, this entire thing is seen built. Uh, the statue was um, me. <laughs> uh, hold on a sec. I'll show you. This one. Um, no, the statue is just some pedestal I found off of a game, and then that's literally. Uh, where's my not even. Um, just a Big Mac model. So, and then I just colored them to be kind of a, a more bronzish or whatever color. And then uh, that's it. No, it's just a it's, it's just a model. <laughs> Nothing special. Scene building is about being resourceful and using things in ways you wouldn't think you'd use them. Alright, so this rubble is going to be for. I got to look like where it crashed. Also, it helps I've been playing a lot of it. <laughs> I 
And plus, like on this for the, here, I don't have to worry too much about um, details because it's uh, going to be so far away. I mean, it's from here. I'm just making sure that it fits. It's medium from here. It's it's, but it's, it's it's something that can be stopped and and have the and looked at. I need to make sure that uh, there's enough detail there that the details go unnoticed. That's good. Actually, no, I want to grab. No, not you. Which one are you? You're the thought I want. Good. Come on. Why are you not centering? There. Something to just lead up to it instead of just a stark change. Oh, I, mean, I can. The thing is, is um, I don't know. I can take specific parts and definitely do that, but that's not the plan for it. The actual final render for this is only going to be at like, um, probably less than 720. Because it's going to be 144 frames, I don't want to be so gigantic flash. Wait, I, I don't know what I want to do for the, on this side, so I'm going to just look at what's available and go from there. <laughs> Let's put a bathtub. I think that's what I was looking for before. We did a boat. Don't we need buildings? Could use that to a degree. That's too specific. Oh, that's the other half of the bus. Ah. Still don't want it though. Wait. I'm really finding a love for the V key. The V key will uh, center the screen to whatever whatever model you have. So if I go over here, and it'll always come back to that model, which really comes in handy when you're trying to figure out where something is. You can just click click uh, like say here, click the viewport, hit V, and it'll automatically jump to it, so you can go and find it. It's pretty convenient. Yes, I love to touch the V. Okay. Sometimes putting something there might seem like it's extra detail, but I want to make sure it works. Here it does. It actually breaks up that building, which was a little bit monotonous without it. So that put something in the way there. That worked out well. But it might be that it's it's details that then complicate other details it just doesn't work so this one does
Okay, from here it doesn't look like much. When you turn that light on, that's when things get noticed. That just adds a little bit extra details there. Yeah, there are there are random bathtubs. I'll give you that. Thing is, is this right now? I've been I've been making things look like it, it looking destroyed. But the one thing I haven't been putting in there is bones, actually. And for distance, I probably won't be able to use any but thing but this one. Now with this lighting, though. How bright are they gonna be? Yes, I thought a bit too bright. Because they're, they're older, and so I'd expect them to be um, darker and yellowed. So that's why I went and decreased blue just a little bit. First one I'm just going to keep as a base, something I can copy from, so I don't have to move back. In, uh, something that's already in position. You're not going to be able to notice anything in there. Uh, I'm going to save a little time though by grabbing the rule. And no. let's move it over here. Yeah, actually, I'll just put it up here then. I love having these bones. Nice thing is, since all the bolts can be separated, I can just spread them around anywhere. Though I don't plan to. I don't really see a need.
that far. need to be unique but having multiples together I think helps tell a story there's um there's this awesome like when I was in like in Fallout 4 there was like a water treatment plane I just did where um the I guess the doors had locked and they had this awesome part where you go in and in a door and there's skeletons all lined up in a blowtorch sitting there and it's telling a story without words like as to what would have happened and and they were that they were stuck and tried to escape and ended up um, dying there at the door in desperation. So I mean, it's a little, little cool stuff like that. So um, I think it's you know putting a few together to make it try to have a story with it. I think I like that. So you really can't see that one. Actually, I believe that might be in the shade, so you can't even see that skeleton either. But, but I can use that skeleton in other places too. Could probably put him on that fence as well, but I think that's shaded as well. Yeah. Or even on that wall right there. Let's try that out. Yeah, that worked. Just a few modifications. Like that. That. Yeah, just a little extra detail back there. <laughs> That's a row of Applebee's. I think I might want to do too is put the textures to dirty them up a little bit. Because right now they just seem really clean. I think that... Uh, Adding some dirt should help. Okay.
Um, which convention? Uh, hey. um, both have their ups and downs. Um, yeah, my coverage now. Have you not been watching? How would I? Um, but, uh, what was it? What I'm kind of worried about is that flare, how that's going to work in the end. Because I'm not sure if that's going to render, uh, render good. So, I'm kind of worried about that, but, like, well, I think that will render fine. I'm worried about, like, here, uh, when it crosses something. like an ear or something, I want to make sure that that doesn't like either fully blow out or or not like here. I want to make sure it's not uh, going too big or too small, which I'm not sure it'll do that correctly, but really, I don't care. It'll Whatever it turns out to be, it'll turn out to be. The plot shot from both sides. No matter, how, I, <laughs> no matter what side you do, you got a butt. But anyways, so that is, but it's 10 o'clock, so I am going to be done working on this for now. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of crap. <laughs> but it's getting there. It's not complicated or anything. I'm just like building an entire city <laughs> manually. That's sure not good. I'll take it. I don't want this guy. Save me. No. Oh. <laughs> I will eat your heart. Oh, his eyes are not actually done yet. I didn't realize that. Oh, not the ghoul. The ghoul's not sad. The ghoul is angry. No acting. <laughs> Looks angry. It's like, what you talk about? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna. Keep the eye. Eyes just wide for those. Eyes for him. Whoa. You should be very sad. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna do it there. That looks better. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm done now. So, um, and everything should be. I think I have a schedule for next week. Yes, next week should be the normal normal schedule. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, I am shipping a raider and a ghoul. That's disturbing, and you should feel bad. But anyway, all right. So I'm good. I'm gonna close this before I decide to do any more with it. I might render out a test version of that just to make sure how the particles work, and so that I'm not wasting my time on parts of it that I know aren't gonna actually work. Then, so, so okay. I will. I'm gonna head out for now, though, and probably like. Fallout. <laughs> so, I'll uh, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye bye.